new storm team. Welcome back. We're starting this out taking a look at our weather alerts. So we have had that winter weather advisory in the purple here. That's been extended south as the system moved a little bit south. We also have a wind advisory for tomorrow and tonight. There is also a dense fog advisory in just about this region here. You can't see it because there's a little bit too much going on at the moment and we got a winter storm warning up to the north. So if you want more information on any of these, you can find it on our website or on our app. And if we take a look at our satellite and radar right now, that heavy band of snow that was sitting up to the north has finally moved out, but we are starting to see that second round make its way into these southern portions of our state. So if we go ahead and zoom in and I'll scooch over a little bit, you can see we've got some snow. We've got some heavy snow pockets here and there. That purple is that freezing rain. That pink is that wintry mix. We've seen some freezing drizzle in Bismarck, even though it's not really showing up on the satellite and radar right now. So those roads are getting icy. So take it slow, leave extra room. And we take a look at precision cast as we continue throughout the night. We're continuing to see that snow, sleet, freezing rain. It's got a lot of mixed precipitation going on tonight as we head into tomorrow morning. So we got a little bit of rain down south, got some of that wintry mix kind of got the whole bag here for the mixed precipitation. So as we continue into Sunday morning, that will start to move out heading into the afternoon. Going to be drying up for most of us, still seeing some snow up to the north. And then as we head through Sunday night, you could see some snow down to the south. And Monday morning, looking at a bit more snow up to the north, looking to see those highest snow totals around the international border, but then Heading into Friday evening should start to dry up and Tuesday looks to stay pretty dry and we'll see some sunshine. So here's a look at our snow potential. Once again, the system shifted south a little bit. So Bismarck is now in the one to three inches and up north we're looking at possibly a foot. I would say 16 inches is a bit on the high side, but it could be possible more like 12 inches, I would say up towards the north, but we have been seeing those heavy bands of snow. So you could get that much. If you haven't got gas for the snow blower, might be a great time to do that. Ice potential could be seeing that light glaze of ice from that freezing rain, making things very slick and slippery. And of course our winds, we got a windy day and windy night ahead. So we're seeing wind gusts up to 45, 50 miles an hour tomorrow. Blowing snow is going to be a big thing tomorrow as well. Heading into Monday, it'll start to calm down. And then Monday evening, it'll be pretty calm. Your Dickinson five day forecast. We got 20s and 30s throughout the week. Willison's five day forecast. Do you have that chance for snow tomorrow? And like I said, it's going to be very windy tomorrow. Monday should be dry. Then Tuesday night, we got some chances for snow again. My not seven day forecast got some teens, but we will be warming up into next weekend. And Bismarck seven day forecast got that snow tomorrow, but we're warming up to 43 by next weekend and lots of sunshine by next weekend. So just got to make it through this weekend. Back to you, Nick. Okay, Carolyn, thank you very much. Coming up next in sports, it's time to crown some state champions on the court. Find out who's taking home the top prize at tonight's state tournaments after this.